The goal was to get up at five, get myself up and ready for the day, but I started reading a book last night that caught my attention, and before I knew it, I was up late. Um, so now, about to wash my face, brush my teeth, probably make me a black coffee, get dressed, head to the gym. So the crazy thing is I have two automatic toothbrushes, an Oral-B, and I forget the other brand, but for some apparent reason, I keep using a manual toothbrush. I rotate between those and the manual, but it's something about using a manual toothbrush, y'all. I don't know. It's probably just me. Let me know if I'm the only one that feels this way. having black coffee this morning and um and I'm putting well I'm putting a peppermint in it <laughs> that's what I'm doing I'm not putting anything in it um yeah this is hot I probably should have put it in a different container so it can cool off before I get to the gym so today's gym workout will be um I'm sure I'm gonna go on it um I don't know. I think I'm going to warm up on a treadmill. I could do a good run just to get my body warmed up. And then I'm going to hit the stair climber thing, whatever. We use it steady, walking upstairs. I really don't like using that machine, so I'm going to push my boundaries with that machine and try to make myself. Let me go get my headphones. Um, and then I'm going to um, work on abs today. I don't want to overexert myself with legs today because I have something I'm supposed to be building in my backyard. And I think I'm going to try to get started on it today if it's not raining. Plus, I have some harvesting to do today. And then, of course, I'm sharing you my um, breakfast meal, which I'll have when I get back from the gym. I'm going to share with you a lunch and then um, whatever I decide for dinner. Right now, I know what I want. I know I'm definitely making a smoothie today. Definitely going to put protein in my body and some aminos and probably some good greens. Um, and then from there on, I have a few things planned. So, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen. And here on this channel, we are sharing plant-based meals, all things healthy when it comes to mental health, physical health, spiritual health, just all the areas that we are in need of growing and um, exploring. So, hope you enjoy. All right, so back from the gym, and I'm going to go ahead and get into this smoothie real quick. I thought I filmed the whole uh, video, but I realized that I deleted it when I uploaded my reel on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, that you should be at H2 Natural Beauty, where I share my daily breakfast, my lunch, and sometimes my dinners. But for the most part, I've been sharing a lot of different plant-based recipes, as well as my smoothie bowls, just to encourage others to, um, you know, eat better, eat clean and eat more fruits and vegetables. So let's go ahead and plug this real in. Mm, mm, mm. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Hey y'all, what's up? Back from the gym. Time to get into this protein smoothie bowl. So I've been obsessed with walnut milk. I prefer the organic black walnuts, but hey, we're gonna go with these raw ones on today because that's what we have. We're gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds, some water, make us some milk. I did add a little bit of vanilla this time. I normally don't, but girl, that was good. So I went ahead and strained it. Not a lot of pulp because that machine, like I told you, does this thing. Shout out to Kosari. Anyway, I put a little bit to the side for my smoothie. Added some frozen berries, two of these dates, a little bit away for some fiber and prebiotic, a little organ protein for some probiotic and protein. 20 grams, honey, it's all up in there. Added some more walnuts, some granola, a little bit of banana, and girl, that's it. Baby, when I say this was good, this was good. We in this thing. This is breakfast. This is breakfast. And got a little calories in it. I know, honey, but we have some prebiotic fiber up in this thing with the Bellway. Um, Got to keep that system flowing and clean, okay? So... I added that because um, 
I just been adding the green one, but I thought I'd go ahead and add this one. This one has, uh, I mean, we all know it's heart healthy and all that kind of stuff. It has only 45 grams of sodium. And y'all know these don't have sugar in them, right? These don't have sugar. And what else is in here? And it's only 25 calories, so we ain't tripping on this. Um, we just want the fiber benefit of that. I prefer the one with the fiber and the collagen, but we're going to stick with that because I figured that flavor would mix well with what I was doing today. And it does. It tastes amazing, so it's all good. This is the uh, mixed berry one. And you know how it kind of thickens up a little bit if you let it sit? I was like, mm, it might thicken up my smoothie bowl and give it a little, a little thickness. And look. <laughs> Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. So, of course, I add walnuts. I didn't buy any black walnuts. I need to see if I can find some. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'll probably try to get some um, next week from Trader Joe's or something. So, I know people ask me about this protein all the time. They say, you always buy this, you always buy this. I've been buying this for years, girl. This one, back in the day, I used to buy the one, Vigo one. Y'all remember that? But this one has uh, a bunch of veg veggies in it. So, it has a veggie blend in it, too. It's not like the green vegetables, but it's a veggie blend. Like beets, carrots, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green pepper, celery, green onion, uh, cauliflower, asparagus, tomato, cucumber, turmeric, cinnamon, garlic, and ginger. Um, it also has holly basil and some lemon extracts, all that kind of stuff. It does have brown rice protein in it and pea protein and chia protein. That's where the protein is coming from. And it's 21 grams of protein up in this thing. So that's why I have in my bowl, um, not including like whatever else um and it has five grams of fiber so on top of that other fiber girl we doing it we doing it honey um 160 calories per two scoops um it is 21 grams of carbs which we added some more carbs when we added them bananas friend and those uh what's that uh granola but it's okay it tastes good um and it's my first meal I'll, i'm gonna burn this off <laughs> two scoops two scoops one million probiotics in here. So I got probiotics in this one. And in Bellway, we have prebiotics. It also has spinach, kale, um, parsley, wheatgrass, barley grass, and oat grass up in this thing. Organic berries and fruit, as in acai. Cranberry, banana, mango, pineapple, girl, everything's up in here. Organic sprouts, <laughs> onion. No, they're going to say onion, girl. That's just quinoa. <laughs> Quinoa, buckwheat, garbanzo beans, pumpkin chia, sesame, sunflower, all things great and good, flax. Yes, all that's in here. Now, of course, I've been making my own walnut milk. I've been trying to use the black walnuts, but this time I bought raw walnuts from Sprouts. And it's just as good. The black walnuts do have this taste to it. It reminds me of as if... Somebody drizzle a little something like lime or something sour on them. It's really weird. But I just put the walnuts in the blender. Um, it depends on how much I'm making. Originally, I thought I was going to just make some for this like bowl. And I was like, I might as well make enough. Because if the girls want a bowl later or if I want one tomorrow, I want to make it again. Because um, I would say it lasts in my refrigerator about a good three days. I would say it would last for three days, but it's gonna be gone. <laughs> my nut of choice, my nuts of choice in order: walnut, pecans, cashews, almonds, peanuts. Mm-hmm. No. In that order. Well. Mm, yeah. I would say that. Now, in that almond milk, no, in the walnut milk, I did add um. A little bit of vanilla this time and just like a drizzle a light drizzle of agave when i made the smoothie bowl i didn't need it mm. i did not need it between this powder and the bananas yeah it's sweet when i get down with this bowl i'm gonna go ahead and probably wash off my mushrooms Throw them in a container and we're going to marinate those. I'm not sure what marinades I'm going to use. I'll put them here. 
I'm probably going to just like sprinkle a little, well, I don't even think I'm going to put salt. I think I'm going to go ahead and use whatever I have in the refrigerator, like either a teriyaki or soy or, or like um, one of those, oyster maybe, or maybe the mushroom sauce, something like that. And just let them sit in a container until later when we're ready to eat that for our lunch, which would be our early dinner. So it'll probably be an early dinner. I'm probably only going to eat like, this is bad, twice a day. <laughs> I'm going to try to squeeze in a third something, which will probably be in a smoothie bowl, but um, I'm eating late. It's 11 o'clock. Um, let me think. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and marinate that. Put that to the side. I'm going to rinse off the asparagus. Go ahead and marinate that with a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, whatever I kind of want to season with, and sit that to the side in the refrigerator as well. I'm going to go ahead and wash the purple um, potatoes, clean them up a little bit. Maybe cut them in like half or fours. Sprinkle some seasoning on that too. And just sit that in the container, put it to the side. And then once I'm done bathing and blow drying and cutting Quest hair today, because it is a bath today. So maybe y'all can do that with me. I'm going to go ahead and um, go in the garden and get some kale. So we're going to get some kale, wash it up real good. We're going to mash it. Just kind of, you know, work our hands in it because the more you mash and work your hands in the kale, it breaks it down. It's easier for your body to digest. So I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I have what I have in here for like to spruce it up, but we'll see what we have. We'll see if we're going to do a horseradish or a peanut like sauce on it, or we're just going to do a nice little salad. So today's um, lunch slash dinner for myself will be a Buddha bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and make enough for myself and the girls because I've never made a Buddha bowl that they did not like. So I'm sure they're going to want it by the time we get done with Quest. So the job of Quest will probably take me three hours. <laughs> so let me finish up this bowl. And I'm going to time it today. Um, I mean, the clippers we have now makes it easier. But we all decided. Y'all decided too, if you remember that we will let Quest hair grow. Let's get into these questions on Quest. Quest is my boo, my baby, my teenage boy. He is a F2 golden doodle. He is a, a chocolate golden doodle. He is four years old. He was born December 22nd, 2018. He has gotten a bath, a blowout, and now a haircut on today. This Neobot is like my favorite thing I've reviewed like ever, y'all. This is like the best tool. I don't get hair anywhere around my house. I can cut his hair. It sucks up in this holes right here, and I'm obsessed. It takes me about 30 minutes to cut Quest's hair when it used to take me three hours. So, yeah, this is Quest. I did run a TJ Maxx and hook him up with a PJ onesie. It is a Santa Claus onesie. I figured we all have one. He should have one too. He's a really good doggy. They consider him aggressive when he goes to the groomers. So until I find another one, we just do it here at home. I need to finish up his face, find my scissors. But for now, this is Quest. All right, so it is 138. Not bad. Shampoo, condition, deep condition. Even um, Terry even um, detangled him. I blue dry them as much as I could that I knew the Neobot was staying. And once again, Neobot is my favorite top item I think I received this year that I reviewed. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, definitely. Did it pick up the hair? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this video actually going up on Sunday or this thing. So it's good to see that um, it get dog hair. Okay. And I like Neobot because the only hair that we really had on the floor is for when she combed them out and brushed them out. So, you got to dump the hair, Tara. Ooh, it's cold out here. And her shoes were wet. All right, so I haven't bathed yet, but I wanted to go ahead and um, bathe Quest and everything first. And like I said, that Neobot is everything. Like, literally everything, y'all. I love that thing. Hands down. I mean, there's some things I've reviewed this year, you know, furniture and whatever. But when it comes to, like products like an actual machine working product <laughs> baby we should get some mint too for mint tea right we should make mint tea all right so let's get um oh y'all let me show you this parsley look how big it is don't it look good oh she look good we got some beets growing here and some more look like i don't know but we got to move these they're too close together 
We gotta take one out. They too close together. We'll probably do um greens for um girls and say Easter. Well Easter too, but for um New Year's. I did clean up some of these weeds over here, but I ain't worried about that. Yeah, we'll probably eat all this come New Year's. So let's trim this one back. So We just want to make a small salad. Nothing big. We don't need to have any left over or anything like that. Like, we're not prepping or anything. We're just making a small salad. They can add to their Buddha bowls. Um, I just call them veggie bowls. But... Uh, they look good, don't they? All right, <laughs> the weather's so crazy. It's cold today, but it's been so crazy. Let me show you something. Y'all see these rows? It's my organic. Um, like they're pink, but they're like pink and yellow. Pretty pretty roses. My garden doesn't know what to do. Yeah. All right. So let's throw some arugula in here with this kale, honey. Let's do that. Yeah, we love a good um, arugula and kale salad. Well, I like kale and spinach. <laughs> but I eat, um, no, I like arugula and spinach. But I'll eat um, anything with arugula. All right, so I'm going to get some of this one too. This baby's been with me since before summer, since last spring. And she keeps producing. And we love her. Yes, we do. We love her. All right, y'all. So I am going to wash off my kale. What I do is I pick the greens off of the stems because they are already a harder green to digest. So there's no need to use the stems, especially if I'm not cooking or sauteing them to soften them, even though there is a lot of fiber in those stems. I used to save them for like stock and for like when I was juicing, but I have so much. I really don't have to save this one right now. I have a ton of um, stock bags with a bunch of chopped up veggies that I just need to make some vegetable stock with now. So I just toss these actually in the compost. Yes. <sighs> Your girl was tired. <laughs> I'm about to bathe though. I'm finally about to bathe. So I am so surprised these nails are still on. I do use the gloves when I bathe him because I like to scrub, scrub, scrub. I don't like that to get into my nails. And then um, when I blow dry him, I use a brush. But And when I cut him, you know, of course, I use the clippers and it takes all the hair. Even after I'm done, I still like to wash my arms, my hands, and scrub with that brush under my nails. So before I went out to the garden, and I was thinking to myself, I probably shouldn't have did this before I went to the garden because I know when I get back, I'm going to do it again. I always use that little brush. Um, it's a toothbrush. It's downstairs. And go underneath my nails, right? So I did that. Washed the kale three times. The first time is just rinsing with water. The second time is with vinegar. The third time is just rinsing with water, right? And they're still on. I'm telling y'all, that glue... <laughs> That glue, and I mean, I brush because you know, girl, listen, I don't, I don't care how clean you think you are. Dogs have dog dandruff. All right, so let's bathe and let's go ahead and cook whatever we need to cook for the bowls and fix the salad so the girls can go ahead. They're probably starving. Okay, so let me get in the tub and do my thing. All right, so I am bathed. I'm feeling really tired. <laughs> it's about 3 15. I can't see this, about 3 15. So um, I have put the um, purple potatoes in first on the air fryer on like 370 for about 25 minutes or so. I did that one first. So I knew that would take the longest while I was making the kale salad. And um, yeah, so for the kale salad, I just did the kale and arugula. I didn't even chop it up, y'all. I just thought about that. That's how tired I am. I didn't even chop it. Oh my God. So I did the kale and arugula. I just did the two avocados, some purple onions, and some salad dressing that Newman's own that we just hauled from um, Sprouts. Yeah. 
All right, so then um, after the purple potatoes came out, I went ahead and put the um, asparagus in. They, they didn't take long at all. Um, so for the asparagus, I just used a little bit of olive oil like I did on potatoes. Potatoes, I think it was olive oil, some salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. For just like what I would do on fries. I know I'm we're a little different over here. We put season on fries over here. And then for the um, asparagus, same thing. A little olive oil. Oh, you know what? I used a lemon pepper season on the asparagus. And I had the mushrooms marinating while I was bathing, of course. And I used that um, garlic. It's like that garlic whatever I'm, I'm sure i've showed it to you by now so i just put those in last they just beep i'm going to toss them around probably put them in for a few more minutes and go ahead and make my veggie bowl all right so i went ahead and layered my buddha bowl oh, it's not even a buddha bowl it's a veggie bowl and uh, i'm so tired i don't know if i can eat all this my eyes are definitely bigger than my stomach and i'm still satisfied from my smoothie bowl protein bowl earlier that was a lot after I eat this, I probably won't eat anything else later. Um, honestly, after I eat this, I probably won't eat anything else later unless it's like a snack, like a little charcuterie board snack later. Maybe I'll be hungry around 8. I doubt it. I don't know. But if I do, I'll come back and show y'all. So I have my asparagus, my um, purple tomatoes. Not purple tomatoes, I have purple potatoes. Um... And then the starter show, baby. These mushrooms. Oh my god. And my kale salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Let the girls know the food is ready. Keep sipping on my tea. Um, find me a good book to read. Let me know if y'all have any suggestions down below. And yeah, my day is halfway over. <laughs> Still got the rest of the day to figure out what we're going to do today. I don't know if we're going anywhere. I doubt it. But, um, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope this encourages someone to step outside the box and just try something new. Or just try different plant-based foods. It, the bowl does not have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be pretty. My bowl is nowhere near pretty. Right? It just tastes good. <laughs> And, you know, when it comes to these plant-based foods like mushrooms and potatoes or whatever, basically, it's the seasoning. Just like you wouldn't eat meat or um, any of your meals without, like, adding, like, herbs and spices or whatever to it. So, it's the same thing. Use what you like, the spices that you like and the herbs you like and make your food taste good. Girl, I love mushrooms. <laughs> I just really like mushrooms. So, that's where it's going to be gone. Christmas not even here. The girls going to eat that whole container. All right. So, it's 8.05. 8.05. And I was like, let me take some food out the refrigerator because I feel like eating some mushrooms. And I'm going to show you how much these girls ate by themselves. Y'all saw how much I ate. That's the purple potatoes. Um... <laughs> This is what's left of the mushrooms. Like, y'all just put this in the refrigerator like this? Really? They could have combined the containers. And that's it. I told y'all. I knew it. I knew they was going to eat this up. Once again, late night TikTok scrolling, and here we go. So I found this recipe online. I don't even remember the chick who I saw, but baby, I saw this and said, oh, I got all this at home. So we had some seaweed strips. We had some sticky rice, of course. Cooked that up. Went ahead and marinated some salmon last night. With a little bit of garlic, hoisin and sauce. I love black garlic. It's my favorite. A little bit of nothing but the bagel because I don't have no sesame nothing around here. Okay? Add a little sauces in my little dip bowl so I can have something to dip in with a little green onions on the side. Went ahead and baked those off about 20 minutes. And y'all, let me tell you something. Lord have mercy. Went to Costco today. Picked up some kimchi because we love it. Just know it was a party all up in my mouth. I, I about lost my mind. This will be made again. They're gone. The girls ate them. I ate them. Ain't no more. Okay? Man, this was good. As the kids say, bussin' bussin'.